I used to be addicted to drugs and alcohol when I was younger and the Lord set me free and I just really felt the burden and compassion to go on the street and minister and feed to the homeless. And I was praying about it and never saw an avenue and my wife seen on TV a lady that was a volunteer and needed volunteers. So we started with her and then we started out on our own and uh, we grew from there. We started in uh, early beginning of 1994, a few of my friends pulled some money together and we started like 20 bucks a week and, and we just started buying some things and we started going out every Tuesday to the open shower when it was there and, and uh, Volunteers of America and we just started feeding out of the back of our Hyundai. Tuesdays is a day off that, that I have from my regular job, that's why we mainly do it on Tuesdays. And we want to branch out and do other nights and do some other things, movie night. And we've had some computers donated. We want to do some GED training and job training and, and different community needs type things. But yeah, it's, it's a little rough trying to do it on a day off. But uh, it's kind of funny because years ago, Tuesday night used to be my ladies night, nightclub night. And, and now the, what the enemy has used for in my past is the same night. It's kind of ironic, the same night I go out and reach out to the same kind of people that I was. Well, we feed uh, 500 meals a week every Tuesday. We we feed at a, an outreach center we've been blessed with, Hilltop Outreach Center on West Broad, and we feed uh, the inner city poor and the homeless in that area, and then we feed it. In the Franklinton area, we feed another 150 meals there to the same kind of crowd, you know, addicted, some homeless, some campsite people. And we also feed at the, the uh, Friends of the Homeless Shelter on Tuesday nights. We give out free Bibles whenever anyone wants one uh, at our, all of our locations. We always pray. We pass out Christian tract literature. We pray for the sick if they need prayer or for whatever needs that they, they have need for. We pray for them. And we also just build a relationship with them. We follow up with Bible studies on Thursday nights at the Friends of the Homeless, and we have a Saturday night or Saturday afternoon ladies Bible study at our outreach building. Yeah. Nobody's on staff. We all have; they're all volunteers. They either retired or they do it after work. And uh, my cook that cooks in the kitchen used to stay at the shelter, and Lord set him free and does much cooking, does a lot of stuff around the church, drives vans and different things and God has just used him. And also, I have other individuals that's in the church or in other churches now that that is the fruit of us reaching out to them and supplying them with the biblical principles to set them free. It's exciting how far Feed My Sheep has come so long with our new outreach building and stuff. Uh, after having a mobile truck for 18 years of feeding in the inner city. I just wanted a place where I could reach out and do more things for the people than just feed them, be able to, to Bible study them, to encourage them and have some other thing, needs assessments and stuff like that. And it's just exciting that we have the outreach building now, which has been my vision from the very beginning. And over the years, I see what is missing and what's needed. And I'm able to try to provide that now by this location that we have. So it's just, it's just been a real, blessing to see what God's been doing. Our location in the hilltop that we've been blessed to, to receive uh, has become an outreach to where a lot of people want to call it their church because they can just come as they are, dressed as they are, and and they get fed and they get ministered to and, and they just love coming and some of them call it their church and, and they want a church service so we started a Sunday night service once a month for now 
Yeah, they feel comfortable because you know it's just they just come like they are, and and you just love them, and and they get involved in worship and they're singing and they're and interacting. You can just tell when you're there. It's just they love being there. There's many ways to get involved with Feed My Sheep. You can either volunteer in our kitchen where we're preparing meals early morning on Tuesdays. You can go out with us to our locations and feed on the street with us where we serve in a couple different locations on the street. And you can also sow financially if you can't go out. We, we're always in a need of support for the different ministries we're trying to birth new with this outreach and, and to support what we're already doing. So there's many areas either here volunteering or giving or even buying much needed products that we seem to have a lot of a lot of need of and lack of getting so it's a couple different ways. Uh, we have a vision to do a movie night and outreach and we sometimes exceed our growth space that we have and we want to rent a adjoining storefront so if we had more regular monthly donors that we knew what kind of income that they come in, we may reach out and rent a joining facility. There's some places near us that we could join with. We've been supported by the Potter's House Church of God. I want to give them a lot of credit. They put me on a budget to supply funds, and then other churches came on board and started supplying finances. I would love to have churches to come and involve, just like with Southwest Free Will Baptist. They've been a part for so many years and they bring their people and they supply finances on a regular basis for the ministry and I would even I even have plans to set inside a night that would be like a short-term mission trip night for other churches to get involved there's a lot of churches that just don't know where they could do something like that so I want to provide a place where they can come and use the facility bring their food and their people and the music and set aside a special night just for those church groups to come in reach out where they don't have a real area to do that now. I've always wanted to just bring people come together of all denominations just for the cause of Christ, to set aside denominational barriers to witness and not be caught up in just all the little things that churches separate them from barriers just for the sake of winning the lost and reaching out to the poor.